We are going to go hit all of the dirt roads around the area. Oh, whoa, whoa. No bull. No bull. What the? Did something follow me from the conjuring house? Yo. What? what? It's just a Dylan. Get the out of here, bro. What? I don't want to be this guy right now, but I literally swore I was like, that was a human standing in the woods. Uh, what? Conjure. No way. Proves right there something's attached to you, Dylan. That right there. What's up everybody, my name's Steve Mason. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. Second of all, welcome to another late night haunted adventure with me, CJ Faison, and we got my editor Dylan here tonight. So, um, Dylan called me up and he's like, yo man, I'm free this weekend. It's a holiday weekend, obviously, it's Thanksgiving weekend. Chris, all the way up in New York. Dylan and I, were, we're stuck in Delaware. Like, literally our family, like, just poof. So, we were like, you know what, screw it, dude. We're gonna film a video. So. Dylan is going to film a video as well. His links are down in the description. Go show him some love and support. And tell him that you came from the CJ Faison channel. Now, what we're doing tonight, we are in the Pokemon Forest. We're actually like outside the Pokemon Forest, right? I'm trying to make sure that like, nobody can hear us. This like, got real quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> this is like one of those towns where like they like, like they take you and they put you in their basement, right? And they hold you there forever. Guarantee it. Yeah. Anyway, folks, back to the video. Um, maybe they don't do that here. Pokemon will pop out that porta potty right there. Just gonna talk about. Listen, man. You know, I, I'm I'm all about getting some ghost strange tonight. All right. So if some ghosts start hitting on me, it's been about a week and a half. You and your sexual ghost. It's been about a week and a half. It's a record. So anyway, folks, without further ado, it's time to get ghost hunting. We are doing something completely different tonight. So what we're gonna be doing. We are going to, first off, number one, right here. Dylan, put that in the video. One, two, three. All right. First off, we are going, and maybe consider that like a little sound effect. Y'all heard that, right? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <sighs> ah, music in my ears. Anyway, here's the first thing that we're going to do. Boom. We are going to go hit all of the dirt roads around the area. We're going to be pointing the camera right out the front of the car, or my truck, technically. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking for the shadow figures of the hook man, because... Everyone that came down here during Halloween obviously sent me an email and was like, oh, CJ, this happened, that happened, this happened, this happened. So we're like, okay, damn it. We're going to go find out ourselves, right? So we're going to be hitting all the back roads. Number two, we're going to go to the cemetery. And then number three, if we can find this certain particular trail, I feel like we're getting clickbaited, to be honest with you, but I had an email. I don't know why so many of y'all email me, which is kind of cool, but kind of dangerous too, because it could be like a setup. So that's why I didn't say when we're coming to the Pokemon Forest. The other night, I tried to do a live stream here in the Pokemon Forest. That failed miserably. So hopefully tonight is nice, calm, and quiet because it's Black Friday. Hopefully all of you crazies are out there shopping, spending your money doing that. And also you can go spend your crazy money at shopmotivated.com. Only the best of the best shop at shopmotivated.com where you can take 70% off. You heard me correctly, 70% off. Why? Because I'm an idiot and because I'm literally selling it things less than cost at this point. And all you gotta do is put in promo code BF70 at checkout. Now, before I have a panic attack and take that back and cancel the uh, the uh, discount code, let's get in the truck because yeah. I just realized I'm losing money. So also like this video too, that, that'll help a little bit. All right, so Dylan is doing his intro and right here I have what they call, what is this again, the Aztec whistle. Yeah, an Aztec whistle. This thing is mortifying, but you look online and there's rumors and stuff that basically say like this is too, um, uh, basically keep animals away or rid like spirits and stuff like that and it's mainly like you're ridding good spirits away and you're inviting bad ones in because it sounds like a actual human scream <laughs> uh, what the f was that I don't know you said talk about bad spirits and something moves over there all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna start this whole entire video off the way it's supposed to if there are any spirits here in the Pokemon forest I'm going to blow into this whistle here and I don't want the good ones with us I want the bad ones tonight we want to see things we want to feel things we want to experience something crazy tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blow into this whistle. this is so terrifying oh, oh ready 
And there's the police getting called at this time. Somebody just got f***ed <laughs> out, bro. <laughs> we're f We're f Imagine there's one person just solo hiking at night in the woods. Oh, they they're, heard that. they're pissing themselves right now, dude. <laughs> the state police just got called. We're about Gosh, to get pulled crazy. out at gunpoint from the truck, and here we go. Dude, I blew this thing in my house, and I was like, ah, it's a little weird, right? You blew it that sounds, your house? Yeah, it sounds worse in the woods. Yeah, truly. You blew it your house, listen. too. Alright, well, let's go ahead and let's get into this video. We've already summoned the demon himself with this uh, Aztec whistle. I'm going to be honest with you, I bought it from like this like antique shop. I found the same thing on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks, so I, I'm not exactly sure if it's haunted or not, but whatever. Alright, let's go. So there's a car coming right now. They probably heard that whistle. Air simply. <laughs> Is it really? No. <laughs> I'm just being a smart ass saying everything. Yeah, should I blow the whistle now? Oh my god, dude. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> that car's like, rrr, rrr. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh god, there's another car up here. Oh, shit. That's the police. He just turned out of the woods, dude, like literally. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get mud in your truck. I'm yeah, no, I'm not trying to get mud in my truck either. <laughs> Goodness nuts. Yeah, I'm trying to pick up the best I can off of here. Is that the cops? No. Nah. Nah. Oh, the code. All right, so rolling through the Pokemoke Forest, a couple of things that you have to understand if you've never been here before. This is a desolate area. If you see people out, they could be possibly doing the same thing that we're doing, right? Ghost hunting, looking for spirits, all of the above. But one of the most important things to realize is sometimes there are people out here with ill intentions, and i.e. cult people, um, different devil worshipping type stuff. I mean, a lot of weird stuff does happen in the Pokemoke, and I know they've tried to patrol the area some, and try to rid of all that which is great but uh you can't catch everything because this area is so freaking massive i mean it's like thousands of acres of forest probably more than that honestly but what is that up there behind the sign uh, yeah. oh it's another sign i don't know every damn demonic spirit that's here in this bar is still open now yeah so all right let's turn down this road here Dude, we might damn get stuck because it just rained today. Yeah. Rained right. like overhead bitch too. Oh buddy. Oh god. Oh buddy. You better full send it through this hole up here. That looks like Buzz Go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Good gosh, dude. Oh my. Just playing this thing today too. I know. <laughs> lovely. Just lovely, Dylan. So everybody, I need you all to pay attention in the background of this video. If you see anything or if you hear anything, comment below and let me know. Because this is um, this is one of the roads right here where a lot of people claim to see shadow figures. So I've, I've seen a couple things that I would consider to possibly be shadow figures, but nothing that's so definitive that I could you know sell the footage to some TV show or something but good gosh oh my god I gotta clean this thing again why is this me like why is it so bumpy I mean it's been like raining and stuff I get that but so as we drive I'm gonna tell you all a story and this is like one of like the more non plausible stories in my opinion for what that's worth and um, they say that if you come out here there's two different nights so the tide 
like the tide of the Pocomoak River needs to be at high tide, all right? And it also needs to be a full moon, which I don't know if we're at high tide, and I definitely don't think it's a full moon because you can't see anything tonight. Could be cloud cover, but on a full moon night, if you come out here on the dirt roads of the Pocomoke Forest, you can get out of your car, and some people perform rituals, and, and not necessarily evil rituals, but just rituals of uh, you know, summoning whatever is here, whatever residual energy is here. And it said that the dirt roads are almost their, um, their haven. And why is because some spirits don't understand why paved roads exist because it's, you know, not normal for them. These spirits could have been in the 1800s or something. Um, where they don't really realize what exactly a paved road is. I know it sounds kind of hokey and stupid, but makes sense they they're more active on the dirt roads where they're more comfortable right and also way back in the day this was a town this was an active town even furnace town down the road from here has its own little creepy history that's very haunted but these back roads i mean this is where you go to get the absolute hell scared out of you late 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 at night and i mean we're here and unfortunately what did that sign just say i don't know um said something about danger did that really just say danger or something yeah, danger no entry trail temporarily closed can I roll the window down and you get a better yeah. shot of that or something or where is it my camera's so blurry it's right there What's it say? Danger, no entry. Trail temporarily closed due to heavy equipment and falling trees. Gosh, okay. Well, well all right then. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to go down that one. Yeah. Something got crushed by a tree. I had another spirit to poke them Good over. gosh. So again, it's also uh, on those full moon nights, people claim that they see all these shadow figures and spirits and all of that and and again i you know how i am i keep it real with you all and i'm just showing you exactly what we're going through what we're feeling right now the feeling is very eerie it just rained it's very quiet um just it feels tonight just feels off it's not a normal pokemon forest night that it just feels a little eerie like this feels like something terrible is about to go wrong and i'm not trying to speak that into existence by any means but again i'm just explaining what we're feeling or at least what i'm feeling i don't know about you dylan but how are you feeling right now i'm on edge man i, don't know. I keep feeling like i'm seeing things but it could just be the trees it's so freaking bumpy back here now like what happened <laughs> this would be a good spot for you to practice for the mid yeah Basically. Oh, too bad you can't the trail. Alright, so we're reaching the stop sign up here on this road. Um, we're going to try and hit another road here in just a minute. Well, one thing I would like to do, Dylan, you have the Spirit Talker app? I do. Go ahead and fire that thing up, dude. Let's sit the stop sign up here. Bro, I'll tell you what. If you haven't watched my Conjuring House video, the Spirit Talker app is insane. Oh, I know. I, I, I actually... And I, again, for everybody thinking, like, I had some people say, it's like, oh, CJ gets paid by the Spirit Talker app. No, I don't get paid for that at all. Um, If I did, I would definitely let you all know, hey, listen, <laughs> my friends at Spirit Talker, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Nothing like that. I use the app because it works, like simply, that's literally it. That's the reason why, so. Put my phone on do not disturb. Okay, good idea. Oh, oh there's dirt in, oh, there's dirt all in my truck. No. From when I have my window down, oh my gosh. All right, all right. Apps Dude, my truck is filthy. Look at that, oh my gosh. What do I expect, I'm on dirt road, dumbass. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of talk openly here in, in the truck, so a lot of people might frown upon this, but I have had a lot of you on videos say, CJ, we've seen spirits in your truck at the Pokemon Forest or in your car. And a couple of times I've been like, Memories here. 
<laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I have a lot of memories here. Yeah, you're right. Oh, man. Whoever this is, can you can you tell us a couple of different things? Maybe tell us. Lock the door. Um, we're not scared of anything. We're just safety precaution, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, can you tell us? Maybe something that has happened here to me or to Dylan. Could you maybe say a name? Something that we would be familiar with. We understand that you're really intelligent. Bro, I swear to God, I thought I just saw something cross over my left shoulder in the background. Where did, I, did, this truck Where did that come truck come from? from? It's a black That's truck. That's a black truck. Where did he come from? I didn't even hear him. Bro, he just came out of nowhere. That's weird. That's weird. Had enough. I don't know why that scared me. Had enough. Maybe we had enough memories. Is that what you're talking about? Her voice is kind of sexy. <laughs> I don't know why. Had enough. Oh, God. <laughs> memories here. Yeah, we did have a lot of memories. Maybe she's talking about when you were talking about what you wanted to do with a female in the woods. Hey, that's still going to happen. So. It's still going to happen. The application process is still open. Oh, okay. Is this oh, SCJ Facebook? Just kidding. Just kidding. Tell us, um... I'm going to run it down. Somebody walks up, they won't go. That's true. That's true. You can probably hear me. I do have my mirror lights on. <laughs> I turn my lights on in my mirror. And it actually like casts like a... Uh... <laughs> Poor truck. I know, Look it's all the way bad. The window sill. I know, it's bad. Oh no. Get this turn truck off. Yeah. What did it say? Thomas? Thomas. Did Thomas hear the scream? From the whistle. Your uncle is killed. I have somebody talking over here. I told you I thought I saw somebody walk by over my shoulder. Hello? There's leaves moving somewhere. There's bad here. What? There's bad here. There's bad here? You did welcome something bad when you flew through that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Where is the bad spirit at? Whoa, dude. What was that? I have no idea. I thought that was you. I think I let my foot off the brake a little bit. Stewart. Stewart. Uh, Stewart Little out here. <laughs> Where the hell's that mouse at? <laughs> oh damn! I see a spider. Oh, how the hell? Do Bro, you see I'm. It? I swear to fuck, I see a spider. I know exactly where it's at too. I don't know how I do this. I really don't. But I'm telling you. See him right there, y'all? Bro, how can I see these spiders? This is not right. What is wrong with me? Let me get the f out of here before another one crawls on me. to think like I'm part Spider-Man or something because I, I just really don't understand how I see 
I don't know. I'm trying to see. You said the woods. Can you like tell me what about the woods? Why do why do I keep getting that? It's like I get that answer a lot. We're family. Maybe you have like a family member or something following you. And I try to head around the woods. I don't know. All right, Dad, where you at? <laughs> Quit with me, please. Yeah, what the hell was that? That sounded like a voice back over here in the middle of the See, that's what, I, that's what I thought too. That's what I thought earlier. Here blowing Aztec whistles. Yo, huh? what? It's just a Dylan. Get the f out of here, bro. Oh, bro. Holy f bro. bro, did I get that on camera? I think I, I keep hitting the f off button. Bro, it, literally it literally just said Dylan. It's on my video. Wait, now it says Edmund. I just asked what its Edmund. name was after it said my name. Hi, Edmund. Oh. How are you? Dude, my camera is so blurry right now. What the? F bro. What? A bat just. Went Fly by, I don't do bass, bro. Sorry. Damn. I'm gonna shut the door before it finds Yeah, or the, you know, the band of spiders over here. Alright, again, we're on another road where, um, this is a road that actually people claim that, <laughs> it kind of sounds weird, but they, uh, they claim that there's, like, steam that comes up off the road in the shape of people. And it kind of resembles some other stories that I've heard, like, not around this area, but just in general of the paranormal. So, good and evil here, is that what they just said? Yeah, good and evil here. All right, so we're just riding around. And again, all we're, all we're trying to do is we're trying to collect a little bit of evidence before we go to the, uh, the cemetery. What the f was that? I don't know. Something just popped up on your dash, I think, right? Uh, death flow, speed limited soon. Whoa, what the hell is this? I have no idea. What is that? It's a light. Light, was that somebody's driveway? It's, 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 wait, I've never seen a driveway here. I've never seen that light there either. It's on the driveway. All right, damn right. Wow, okay. All right, well, I've seen that. That's a new one. That's strange. I don't think we've been down this road. I, I have, but I don't know if I have with you or not. They all look the same. You know what's crazy to me is that it knew your name, number one, and yeah. then second of all, like, it's like, that's amazing. amazing. What? Oh, what? Oh, Get the f out of here! Well, there's that whole theory that they can read minds. They just read your mind. It just read my damn mind, buddy. <laughs> what the f for real, bro? What the hell? Whoa, dude, 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 the trailer. The trailer oh, has dude. people over here at it. Yeah, it does. What? Dude, there's a lot of people there. Okay. Whoa. All right. Well, I've never seen people there. Dude, I, I, I thought that place was abandoned. I really yeah, did. Dude, oh, jeez. Right Bambi, look out. That's a hunting place yeah, back there. You, you better get high-stepping is all I got to tell you. Dude, I can't believe it's a treasure mine. I said amazing. It said amazing. All right, let me let me try another word. I'm, I'm going to think of like a name of some sort. And it's going to start with a D. Billy. Well, that's a Billy. That's Billy. A B. Damn it. Well, it still said a name. Yeah. Okay. All right, hang on. I'm gonna think of another word, and and if that if this works, right. I'm gonna think of another road. If it says dirt road, then I'm gonna freak the f out. All right, we'll see what it says. See, I thought it just learned my name because you had just said hi, Dylan, like being a smart ass. It might like, have. It might have. This says dirt road. Do you know where we're at right now? Yes or no? Or say dirt road. One of the two. Thank you. 
I can protect you? I don't think you can protect us there, sweetheart. Dude, you said the same thing about the condom house. It's every time I wear my negative energy bracelet, it's like something's trying to protect me from negative. Well, you might have something attached to the bracelet or something. I don't know, you know? dude. I mean, it's supposed to help you. It's supposed to get rid of negativity in your outside life and outside forces. So let me ask you all this. So everybody out here watching this YouTube video right now, comment below and let me know, do you or do you not believe in um, bracelets, crystals, things along... Dude, who? What the Nana. It's been in the Conjuring house a million times. Did someone follow me from the Conjuring house? Nana? Yeah, Nana. That's weird. It literally said it like six times if you go back and look at my footage of the Conjuring house. Did something follow me from the Conjuring house? This thing says yes. Oh. Literally. <laughs> I'm using you for every video from now on <laughs> if that's the case. <laughs> if it says yes. I told it not to follow me, but I don't think it listened if that's the case. Come here. Come where? Come where? The Conjuring house? Yes, I've been having dreams about it, dude, the last two nights. I swear to God. I swear. Alright, so kind of one of the things that you may or may not realize is when we go to these places and we film, you do risk possession. You risk attachments. I mean, you see all of us YouTubers, we're usually the ones who, again, I'm going to reiterate this. <clears throat> us YouTubers are probably the most professional unprofessional ghost hunters out there there's teams of people keep right going. keep going all right we're gonna keep going there sweetheart you tell us when to stop on the road and I'll stop pull over how about that so I always say this we ghost hunt more in one week than most teams do in a whole year sometimes because some of us do this full-time like I ghost hunt five to six times a week and I don't even do YouTube full-time I'm just committed to the grind really so I always say this, like all of these professional teams always like to shit on us YouTubers and be like, oh, they're not professional, blah, blah, blah. Dude, we visit more places and, and do more experiments in one week than you do in most, like a year. You and your team get together once a month or once every two months and, and go do something. Like I'm not shitting on you by any means, but I am kind of like, because they always try to call us out and call bullshit, but how much footage is, have, have been erased from the hard drives of CJ Faison Incorporated, Dylan? Yeah, I died. I died. Did you die right here? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Oh, we can't get out here there, sweetheart, because there's nothing but dirt and, and mud and water. But, I mean, like on a um, on a very serious note, though, like we, there is so much footage that never gets used just because nothing happens or um, the footage just isn't good enough or the quality. There's so many different reasons, but why is my, yo, that's weird. Yo, get this on camera, look. It was following us. You see my screen, how it locked in? Usually this, so. From the 1700s. See? Bro, no, it proved my wait, point. Wait, it wait, proved wait, wait, my wait. point. Wait, 1700s? I asked about the Conrad House. The Conrad House was built in 1756. Bro. Okay, <laughs> first off, that matches up with the Conjuring House, right? Yep. Boom, number one. Number two, 1700s, 1800s, they didn't have paved roads, which would explain yeah, why there's so road. much activity on dirt roads. See, I need proof here. Like, are you actually from the Conjuring House or are you trying to say that you're from here in the 1700s? Say, like, Pokemoke, say house if it's the Conjuring House. Like, you gotta give us a sign of some sort. Abandoned. Abandoned. Well, the Conjuring House was never abandoned. I mean, it was abandoned in 2006. It was abandoned until they sold it. Okay. That's not right. answer my question, though. There's so much abandoned stuff in the Pokemoke Forest. Yes. Give, it, give us some, another clue there, sweetie. So, what I was saying on my camera, for all of you that couldn't see it, maybe I used some of Dylan's footage if he zoomed in. Um, it has this like square block system when it zooms in or like is trying to auto-focus on someone's face. And it was auto-focusing in the woods, but there was no one there, clearly, as you all saw. So it picked up something that we didn't. And to me, that's creepy. So give us some kind of sign. Are you talking about the woods or are you talking about the cobweb? I kind of need to this the Conjuring House has sold so much stuff this last week. Got something there? Unlikely. Unlikely. Okay. This is not from the outside. I don't know. It could be trying to fool you too. I don't know. 
we always like feared that like our apartment might be like a little bit on its own so we're so sad as I swear to god I woke up in the middle of the night the other night and it looked like something peeked out of my bathroom my bathroom door was totally closed that's weird that is very strange Try, I'm gonna try something here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a phrase, and if it says something around that, then it's kind of proof that maybe it's listening or something along those lines. But I'm going to say it's gonna give us an answer of Dude, what? Conjure. No way. Oh, Proves right there something's oh, attached to you, Dylan. Oh, that right oh, there. Oh, no, they they be signed a waiver and I'm passing attached to me, Dylan. Dude. <laughs> Come on, for real. Like, you can't deny that. Can't. You can do what you can say and do whatever you want, but you're not going to deny that. And you now my camera's blurry. Just from the Conjuring house. Why is my camera blurry? Uh oh. It's blurry, blurry. Like, it won't even focus in on the road. Nothing. Dude. I don't understand. Henry, is this you? Who the hell is Henry? It's some, like, little kid that, if he likes you, he's supposed to move coat hangers in a closet. And Why is my camera not unexplained. unexplained is what the spirit talker just said. What's unexplained? Probably why my damn camera won't focus. That's true, that's true. Mine keeps going in and out of focus this road like, the whole time. But I think it might just be my life. There it goes, it's slowly coming back. That was weird. Spirit, if you're from the Conjure's Mask, can you give us a name? Can you tell me who supposed to follow me? Or can you give me like a sign, like making noise on the truck or something if you're from the Condren house? You said Condren, so I believe you're from there, but just give me a sign. Tell me who you are. Hers who? Yeah, who? You're talking about a female, can you tell me who? Oh, 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 oh gosh. <laughs> There's all kinds of mud coming in here. Oh, man. See, it says hers too. I wonder if something really took a liking to me because of Ellen. Because something was touching her hair when we were separated. That's, that's creepy. That's very creepy. The fact that it's like conjured definitely makes me believe that either something's attached to me or my phone. Because I use my phone that whole night as a spirit talker between that and the Dallas and Rounds. Really? Yeah. Come on, you can talk to us. It's okay. I know at the Conjuring house, she said he didn't know if you could trust me, and then he said he could trust me. The woods. The woods. The woods. What about the woods? Are you hiding in the woods? Is that what you're trying to say? Or are you saying that something bad's in the woods? Might be. Because it said I can protect you real here. Come on, hook man. <laughs> Where you at, boy? I see a hook come flying through this windshield. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm gassing up and we're getting on out, bud. Let me tell you that right now. I know it takes a lot of energy, but can you like tell me what about the woods? Stranger. Stranger. There's a stranger in the woods? Yeah, okay. Are you talking about us? Are we the strangers to the woods? More than likely, yeah. Yeah, No bullshit, no bullshit, what the f Hang on, Dylan.
comment below if you all see anything. I almost think it was up a little bit further. I'm gonna go very slow. Dude, to me, it looked like as if it were... I will talk to you. I will talk to you? What okay. the hell? You can talk to us, what do you wanna say? You're talking to my device or you can talk right into my camera? Maybe you'll talk to us, what do you want to say? Edith. You said that at the Conjuring House too. Who's Edith? Who the hell is Edith? Yeah, I don't have to record the audio. My audio is not talking about it. It is? No, it's not. Why? I don't know. You keep recording. I'm going to stop my time. Okay. Man, I don't know. It, to me, I swore, I, I don't want to be this guy right now, but I literally swore I was like, that was a human standing in the woods. That's what it looked like to me. I could be wrong, but that is exactly what it looked like to me. That's good. Alright, it looks like we got audio, so we're good. I'm going to go throw my camera. It's okay, you can talk to me. You can trust us. We're just here to... Yeah, if Harriet's hot, let me know. I don't think Harriet's a female name, though. <laughs> It is? Yeah, it is definitely people. Huh? Stop, stop, stop. What did you say? Something was peeping from behind the tree. Presence. Presence. It just stopped recording again. Bro, no, it literally just said presence. I just saw it shot up behind the tree. My camera can't see anything your way, so. I swear to God, it's right here. Yeah, like big pack of trees. And then it said presence. Did you just show yourself to us? So the second time you said Alice. Alice, was that you? Is that what you're trying to say? You just showed yourself to us? I think Alice has got the hots for one of us. Yeah. I got that name in the Cognitive House too, but it doesn't relate, but that's also a portal there, so. You might have like been, you might have like school bus the whole uh, Cognitive House and like took like six spirits with you. Oh, uh, uh, This road is really long. Yeah. Like, Really, I do not remember this road being this long. Oh God, I don't either. I'm off the before I get my oh, Damn! Yes. <laughs> what the f bro? Dude, I'm going to buy a Ford Raptor. It's more cut out for this shit than this big diesel truck. I ain't trying to get a Ford Raptor truck with all the in here. Scream. Scream? Scream.
Is it talking about the Aztec oh, whistle no. screen? No, no. Are you talking about our device that we used earlier? Wait, what was that? We just beat. Something beat? Yeah. There's nothing on the dash. Almost looks ready to trade it for the rafter. You did it again. again. You did it again. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, nice. You just got the camera all over. I'm on my phone. I know you want to see me, girl. How can I say no? See, your face is going to shoot you, right? The man don't have to know. I put that flashlight on you, bitch. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I pee more pressure than this thing puts out. I had girls that put out. <laughs> oh my goodness. You remember that night when I stepped in pop shit and went to stop the car wash yeah, to wash my shoes? Yeah, Dylan stepped in poop one night and got in the damn Honda and, and everywhere. It smelled so bad. We had nothing to do. We couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> Bro, these people, I'm going to be an actual decent mother. Yeah. Do that in the drain because I'd be so pissed if this was my car wash.